So today I'm going to be working on this composting toilet. Um, I started framing up the box, it's just the width of the room. I'm going to set a bit of plywood on here, it's going to be cut into two sections. One folds up for the toilet, the other side folds up for access in there and storage. So that's roughly where the bucket's going to sit. It's going to be a bucket system. We've got the toilet seat which should sit nicely on top. But the first thing I've got to do is put an extra timber support along the back there. So that's where the hinges are going to swing off. And then a center support through the middle. And that's where the join of the two sections is going to be. So I've got to mark that out and cut them and then screw them in. So there we go, those two boards are in. That's roughly how it's going to sit. There's going to be one, one bit of plywood on this side which will hinge up and then another short one on that side which will also hinge up. So this seat's going to sit as far forward to the front just so there's enough room at the back for the hinges. So what I'm going to do, I want to make the, the plywood grain all look the same. So I'm going to cut out one big section from wall to the edge and back to the wall and from that I'm going to make my cuts one for the hinge flap which will be there and then one for this second joint and that way the plywood should appear as one sheet even though it's been cut all the grain should match nicely um, I've never actually done that before so we'll see how it turns out so I'll measure up and start cutting the plywood there it is in. It's a little tight now but um, I've got to make the cut for the two sections and that will um, that should make it drop down nice and flush. I've also got to make the cut for the back so I'm going to make the back cut first and then this this join cut here so I've got to measure that out. So there's the marks I'm going to be cutting. One straight down there and then the top one that's how it's going to sit. You can see the grain lines up nice and neat. You're going to put hinges up here, so one hinge there, one there, and then two in there. These front sections fold up. Um, so what I'm going to do now is bevel the edge 45 degree with the router on all edges. That will neaten it up a little bit. So there we are, I've beveled all the edges. Looks pretty neat, so now I'm going to mark and cut out where the hinges are going to go. Just going to place them where I want, trace around with the pencil, and then get my router out, cut against it, notch it out, and that should be alright. So that's how it's going to look with the hinges like that, slight gap in the middle and then they're going to flap up so what I've got to do now is mark out the hole for the bucket and then cut that out. There we are, I've marked the hole, the toilet seat's going to sit over the top of that so i just got to cut that out with the jigsaw. So that's how it's going to be sitting. Got the hole cut out for the bucket. Bucket's in there. Seat on top. So now I've just got to screw in the hinges. Make it all neat. And I should be able to test it out. And then, then I can install the seat and see how it operates. Got the hinges installed. They work nicely. There we go, the seat is installed. You can see it's self-closing. That's how it is. There's a bit of an air gap underneath, so I have to, I'll have to work something out for there. Maybe put a bit of rubber lip or um, trim the seat down a bit so it sits flush, just so it doesn't let most of the smell out. There we go, so this is how the flaps work. 
just lift that one up like so and then you can take the bucket out when you want I've got it sitting so this bucket sits up into the cutout like that just so it's nice and tight in there and there should be no way stuff should get back in behind and then we've got this this one here which you can access the water pipes or you can put toilet paper and, and other things in there so I still need to make a board for the front uh, I'm going to be using the same plywood cut it to size and then screw it on and then that should complete the whole setup so I'm not going to do much more with the toilet it's getting late now but um, yeah that's the basic idea you got your lid uh, the bucket underneath all the waste goes in there then you fill it with material, sawdust or leaves or some sort of brown matter and um, yeah keep after you do your business keep laying some some on top and that lets the smell go down a bit and um, helps us the composting process so in the meantime between that and this put a couch in here pretty good and then start setting up this computer desk area for the monitor Yep, that'll do for today. Might have a video out tomorrow, but if not, I'll think of something else.